I'm Erica Reed. I am the marketing manager for the Center of Musical Arts, and I am talking to Rex Spies about his intro to jazz improv class. How are you doing, Rex? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Erica. How are you doing? I, I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm curious about the intro to jazz improv class, um, which is something sort of new that we're offering at the center and something that you helm. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the format of that class? Yes, um, I use um, a series of jazz study books um, uh, published by Jamie Abersold, and it uh, deals with uh, music across all all genres of, of jazz, um, basic, you know, Dixieland, uh, smooth jazz, uh, and I try to cover all the different areas of jazz in the class. Um, I I start with the, uh, the beginning um, part of the book, um, the basic Abersold book, teaching jazz improvisation, and and ask the uh, the students to um, to whether they're high school adult uh, 50 plus whatever uh, to look at the early part of the book and and uh, study chord structure study scales study interpretation um, it and ways of of making their own melody really really blossom and just to, to really try and get a really basic knowledge of jazz improv and under their belts and, and to practice it and to, to rejoice when they come up with a really good solo on their own and, uh, and be, be happy about it. So. so would you say it's a more academic class, there's a lot of studying or is it a more practical class where there's a lot of playing or is it in the middle? I, well, maybe in the middle, it's it's uh, it's uh, practical. I mean, you, you have to. They, they give examples of jazz phrases, and so the student gets to look at that and play it, and get an idea of exactly what a jazz improv line would look like. And uh, and so it's it, there's some academic aspect to it. Uh, just having to to look at the the, the, the structure of chords pick out notes within that chord to play uh, in that uh, in that particular song whatever the song is it's just uh, so it's it's pretty basic stuff really you know they just need to look at the chords and study the chords study scales study interpretation and um, different uh, ways of um, creating a very very fun melody to listen to Part of the part of the thing is about playing jazz improv. You want to make it a, a, a fun line of music for a person, a listener, to appreciate. And and you know, people, it's just it's just it, it might sound a lot more scary than it really is once they get into it and do the basic, the groundwork, the study, the chords, and that. That doesn't take up all the time. Now, that, this might make you laugh, but I was um, I was in an improv troupe for a long time. I was I did like comedic improv, and my uh, friends would always say, um, "You have that's something you have to practice." Like, why do you have to go to practice? And so much of it was about learning the structures that you're playing within. Is that sort of how it works in jazz? Understanding the sure. the bounds. Sure, absolutely. It's a uh, it's a, it's, it's black and white. You know, the, the music is on the staff. If they read music, they're going to be able to uh, look at it and, and learn about chords. That's probably the most important part as a beginner is to know what chords are and to take it and, uh, and embellish it. Just, just work on it and, and make it something more than what it is on paper. Mm -hmm. you know, it's their own ideas that make the difference. So um, are there specific um, instruments that can participate in this or can any instrument do, you know, jazz improv in your class? I encourage any, including voice, uh, any instrumentalist of any, uh, I, I find it, you know, I don't know that a, an oboist or, or a bassoonist will ever 
be in my class, but they might, you know, it's, it's, I guess, it's not unheard of for those double reads to be a uh, part of a jazz improv class. Uh, but yeah, any instrument, flute, clarinet, trumpet, trombone, bass, guitar, whatever. You know, I had, uh, in my first class, I had a guitarist and a saxophonist or two saxophones. And uh, they all just really enjoyed it and had a great time. So yeah, please, I, yeah, I'm gonna make it open to anybody that wants to learn. It just, it's just so fun. All right, so to recap, any, any uh, musician, and we're looking especially for bassoonists who wanna <laughs> take on the <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I hope oh, learning. I have seven or eight bassoonists. <laughs> yeah, let's get a few. Let's get a few bassoonists. Um, it's a mix of studying the structures and then learning how to play within them. Um, yeah. It's you'll learn a lot, but it's also a lot of fun. Is there anything else that you think prospective students would need to know about the intro to jazz improv? I just I sign up and let's have a great time. That's all, all I right. have to. <laughs> so. All right. Thank you so much, Rex. Thank you, Erica.